Russian Su-57 fighter jet will be the fifth gen only in 2022. Why isn't the Su-57 still a fifth generation fighter? In early 2020, Russian engineers and developers of the project experienced difficulties in three areas, stealth technology, engine, and avionics. The Russians solved the problem with the stealth coating, as far as their claims are concerned. Lastly, a Russian journalist posted a video showing the cover being bolted, not riveted. For many people, this may not be a problem, but the bolts emit larger radio frequency bands, and at one point, the stealth effect has already, because the bolts release it to the radar. The second problem was the engine. The Russians are serious about solving this problem and expect to have a more powerful engine than their competitors in two years. But the engine played a significant role in the refusal of India and China to participate in the project or buy fighters. Reporter magazine claims that in 2022 Russia will have a new engine for the Russian fighter, known as Product 30. This engine is staging two of the propulsion of the stealth fighter. Precisely in the same period of the new decade, the Russians expect to receive a larger quantity than the ordered dozens of Su-57 fighter jets. With the new engine's development, Moscow is deliberately slowing down the aircraft's serial production, the publication claims. The Russians expect their product 30, already known as Saturn 30, to be the most powerful in the world and neutralize Americans' advantage. If the engine's development goes according to plan, Moscow assumes that it will produce between 20 to 25 fighters a year. The third problem is avionics. The Russians currently advertise the Su-57 as a fighter with an absolute azimuth, 360 degree sensitive capacity. So far, we know that such technology is integrated only on American F-35 fighters. There is no confirmed information that the Su-57 has a full set of sensitive azimuth sensors. This technology is advanced avionics, and Russian R&D has not yet reached its development. Different messages from different institutes say that they are close to its development, but close does not mean ready. For these reasons, the Russian Su-57 fighter is still difficult to qualify as a fifth-generation fighter. Thank you everyone for watching this video.